Hello YouTube, it's me again, back with another video, and this time I'm introducing another original character. Hmm. <laughs> um, as you may have seen in the title, this character's name is Nina Wren. Now, Nina is not in the same universe as uh, Marie Hadling or Leon Valderall. Um, one of these days, I'll get around to doing a video that explains who is where in the universes, um, who goes where, um, but for now, I wanted to talk about Nina in part because she's just sort of been on my mind recently. Um, especially what with Game of Thrones, I've been thinking about Nina a lot, um, and that is because Nina is a dragon. Now, that is nothing to be really big whooped about in the world that Nina comes from, because everyone in this world is a dragon. <laughs> so, much less impressive to be a dragon in a world full of dragons, am I right? Um. <laughs> so for this one, I wanted to focus a little less on her character and a little more on the story she comes from because so much of who she is is dependent on where she comes from. Um, Nina lives in a world separated into two kingdoms, two main kingdoms at least, um, and that would be the kingdom of Olden and the kingdom of Raiden. So Olden is a very traditional medieval city. Um, you know, there's the king, the queen, the crown prince, and the crown princess, and so on and so forth. There are many lords and ladies of the court, there are knights, the whole shebang. Um, whereas the Raiden are a more tribal group. So for those of you who know Game of Thrones, it's uh, King's Landing versus the Dothraki. <laughs> um, I'm very sorry about all of the <laughs> Game of Thrones uh, references that are probably going to be in this video. I love that series way more than I should. <laughs> um, so the Olden are the primary ruling class. They are much stronger, much more wealthy, and they have way more resources. Um, they're not necessarily more technologically advanced, they just do things in a more efficient way than the Raiden tend to. Um, which is often putting the Raiden at a disadvantage. Um, aside from that, they have another major difference, in that the Olden believe that the dragon is something that you should only use in wartime. The Olden sort of see the dragon as a weaponized form, a form that can be used for great danger and great devastation, and in this way they are wary of their dragon forms. Um, the Raiden, meanwhile, believe that you should love your dragon and embrace your dragon, so they train themselves um, to use the various abilities that different dragons have. Um, so they, they very much believe that the dragon is something to be worshipped and appreciated, whereas the Olden believe that it can be dangerous and should be tightly monitored. As you can imagine, this causes some serious conflict, especially seeing as we Raiden people can't really argue with the Olden people because of the way the government is set up. The Raiden people have a bunch of tribes, and a bunch of their tribal leaders, their war chiefs, all gather in a single council. But that council can never undo the power of the Olden crown. So even though the Raidens see themselves as their own group of people, they are very much still at the beck and call of the Olden. Um, which they don't like. So that sort of sets up the world um, as we know it. So the Olden people are ruled by a king, Killian Tremaine. Uh, Dremaine. <laughs> Starts with a D, not a T. Uh, and Killian has a lovely wife and two children, a son and a daughter. And this said daughter is Nina's childhood best friend. Uh, Nina's father was a soldier who fought bravely in a war alongside King Olden, and as such, the two are very close friends. Um, so when they both had daughters around the same time, their daughters 
got along famously and were raised alongside each other. Um, so when the two girls were very young and they were playing and having a good time, they were being children, um, the queen comes in and she says to them, you know, we have to get ready for a dinner. The Raiden people have come to talk about another year of peace. Um, so we need you to get ready for that, for that dinner. Little do the olden people know, this dinner of peace is actually the Raiden's way of sneaking their men into the capital so as to destroy it, and to kill the king and take the throne for themselves. They want to destroy everything the olden have. So Nina, the princess, and pretty much everyone, the lords and ladies of the court, are all getting ready to meet with these Raiden representatives. And that's when the Raiden people strike. Lords and ladies are cut down and killed. People are dying left and right, and there is destruction everywhere you turn. Dragons are swooping in on the citadel, on the kingdom, on the main city, and people are dying wholesale. It's horrible. Nina and her father and her family, uh, she has an older brother, are swept into a caravan with some of the other surviving lords and ladies, and separated from the king, queen, prince, and princess, who are all sent away to their own private location with the main king's guard. Um, so that none of the lords or ladies, if captured, can tell the Raiden where the king and queen have gone. Nina is devastated to leave her best friend behind, um, but is forced to go along with the caravan anyway. Things, of course, go awry for our lovely central family when the caravan is attacked on its way through the valley outside the kingdom. Several of the carriages make it through the valley and end up going out the other side and surviving and making it to the safe house, uh, but a great many are destroyed. Now, seeing as Nina stalled her family because she was so unwilling to leave the princess behind, she and her family are in the last carriage. This is both really good for them and really bad for them because they're not in the middle, but they're also not at the front like they were supposed to be. Um, because they're the very last carriage in the caravan, they end up being really badly hurt by the wildfire spit by the dragons that are coming to attack them, but their carriage stays intact. Now, Nina and her brother can't change into dragons, they don't know how. Um, they've never been taught how to use their inner dragon. So they're left helplessly on the side while their mother stands over them to protect them in her dragon form, and her father goes out to attack the three dragons that have come to kill them. So Nina's father runs out and pulls some serious stuff out and he ends up killing these three dragons, but at very serious cost to his health. So he's really badly hurt. And if they were to go through the valley, which is now partially caved in and covered in broken caravans, he would die. Um, so he decides that he is going to pretend that he and his family are Raiden refugees running from the war that they didn't know was about to happen. So they all run in and they hide in a nearby Raiden tribe, and they pretend as though they have always been Raiden people. Nina and them are forced to change their names, they're forced to change everything about their lives. So the main story begins many, many years later when Nina is in her early 20s, when they are finally able, um, Nina's father has worked his way into the Raiden government. Um, after the subjugation of the Raiden people, when they lost the war, tragically badly lost the war. And now he's kind of finally getting the opportunity to go back to Olden, kind of sent by the Raiden on their behalf to negotiate a new peace treaty. And he brings his entire family with, um, under the guise of, you know, we're going to teach our children how to negotiate. And they show up. 
and Nina finally gets to go home. So the story follows this sort of complicated arc of her figuring out what does home mean and who is she and who she agrees with and she kind of ends up figuring out she doesn't fully agree with either side on this battle. She's kind of come to know the merits of the Raiden people's beliefs but she also remembers the merits of the olden beliefs, so she's sort of tied between these two worlds that she's grown up in. So, yeah, that's Nina. Um, my little lovely lesbian dragon. <laughs> so I really hope that you like her, because I love her absolutely to death. Um, another green-eyed protagonist, I'm sorry, I just love me some green eyes. Um... But that's really all there is to tell you about Nina for now, but I plan to make a few other videos on a few other original characters, so you will probably see Nina cropping back up in the future. Um, I really hope that you like her. I really, really do. Um, and I hope that you're enjoying getting to know some of my original characters. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good morning, evening, afternoon, nighttime, time of day, and I will see you guys on the flip side.